good morning. My name is David Austin with the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Science. On Facebook, I'm the hometown gardener, and today we're looking at some vanilla planifolia orchid flowers. This is the plant that we get vanilla beans from. And this morning I'm going to show you how to pollinate them. And it's going to require that I break this flower apart. So I'll start by breaking these petals back. And I need to get to the anthers, which has the pollen and the stigma, which is the female part of the flower. And we have to get those two parts to combine. So I'm breaking off the petals. I take the toothpick and insert it in the flower. You can look at the top view of how that is. Just pull straight up. I'm going to peel that down. And we'll take the back sides and I'm going to peel this flower apart so we can get to the anthers and the stigma. And so we're looking at it now. We use a toothpick to do this. It's fairly simple. There's a little flap right there. That flap separates the anther from the stigma. And we need to make those two parts join. So we are going to gently lift that flap up. While we're doing it, we're going to make sure that our thumb is in the right position so that we can squeeze down on that. So we gently lift the flap. And when we get the flap up, it's a little harder. We can pinch it back down. You see, just gently, not too hard. You can overdo it and break it. And so that should be pollinated now. And it's usually done by a bee. It's a very small bee. Honeybees are too big to do it. And since we don't have that bee readily available, and since we want to make sure the flower gets pollinated, we're going to do it by hand. So I have two more flowers on this particular stalk. The flowers come out in succession. Uh, three on one stalk is quite a few. A lot of times it'll only be one a day. You see some flower buds down there. Once again, we're gonna break the petals. Get them out of the way. And it's kind of sad because the petals are there to, you know, to attract the uh, insects to the flower. And in this case, I'm the insect, so we don't need them. Insert the toothpick. You peel that, that down. This would be the pistol behind the um, underneath the stigma of the flower and once again I'm gonna get my thumb in the right position see how it's free and moving I'm gonna gently lift that flap so that we can connect the anther and the pollen to the stigma portion of the flower and that is also done and you can see there there's some vanilla beans hanging down those have been pollinated they've swollen and turned green when they fail they um, shrink up and disappear, turn yellow and go away. So once again, we're inserting the toothpick, inserting the toothpick, pulling up, and peel it down in the front, peel the sides away. And be careful there's other flowers on there that you don't mess them up while you're doing this. Make sure that thumb is available to move around. And lift the flap again. And then the thumb's gonna pull the anthers down into the stigma and make sure that that is pollinated. And so that's basically how it's done. This is an orchid and there's the bean that's been pollinated. That's a good one, successful. And then back there in the back, we're looking at one that was a failure, not done properly. And there's other shriveled up flowers there. I made some mistakes, quite a few actually, before I actually became more successful at it. And that's going to take a little practice. You just have to be not afraid of it. Go in there and do it. And once again, I'm the Hometown Gardener. You can find me on Facebook as a Hometown Gardener or on YouTube as the Hometown Gardener. And contact me at University of Florida, IFAS Extension at davidaustin at ufl.edu. And thank you for listening.